Do we have a clever way of removing this from the tree? Well, we actually do. So let's say, so five, what we're gonna do is five's up here and four's down here, right? Uh, and so we're gonna find the rightmost of the left subtree, let's say. And so we identify four, right? Well, we know four can't have two children, right? It can only ever have one children hanging off of here. It can't have a child hanging off of here or else that would be the rightmost. So four can only have one child. And so if we take the data from four and replace five with the data from four, all right, we're in the situation where we have two fours in the tree, okay? And, but we can do one more thing, which is we can call remove four on our left subtree. And what'll happen is this will come down and they'll find this four at the most has one child we've dealt with the one child case right or zero children we've dealt with the zero children case so this will be removed successfully in either case if it's a one child or zero child and four will be up here and we're done with the removal almost done with the removal of uh of the node with two children which was five in this case right we've, we've replaced its data with fours and then we removed fours so real quickly there's one more thing that needs to happen okay and what needs to happen is this is expecting what node it's going to attach to all right and even though this node changed, it didn't really change. It's just data change. So we have to return this to our parent node and we're done. Okay. Um, so think about, think about what happened here. All right. It's pretty straightforward. We have a find leftmost. So five needs to be removed. Five is the one that needs to be removed. Five calls find rightmost on its left subtree or find leftmost on its right subtree, okay? Find right uh, rightmost on its left subtree is what we'll do here, okay? And that identifies four and four gets returned up and five changes its data, sets its data to the result of that, okay? Because remember, we're returning up a student, okay? So now five equals that student, all right? Now we have that student in two different places of this. so. From this node, we call remove four on our left subtree, all right? And then it comes down and it identifies this four. And in this case, the four doesn't have any children, so it'll return back up null. And that's what three will be pointing to now. If it did have a child, something over here, uh, this is four and this is, I don't know, 3.5. Okay, then uh, what it'll do is it'll return 3.5, right? And everything will be copacetic, right? We've, we've, we've programmed that. I, we're not doing 3.5. I just ran out of numbers, as you can see. Okay, so think about how crazy that is. It's like, uh, it's like, you know, it's five is, so, so this, this node steals this node's identity and then sends like a cipher in to like kill that node, right? I mean, if you went to Hollywood with that movie, they would not let you do it because it's too good. They'd be like, uh, we're gonna sit on this gold mine for a little while. Um, so I'm actually gonna split this up just because uh, I wanna do, uh, I want, well, actually no, I'm not. I didn't lie, lied. Okay, so let's do let's do some pseudo coding, and then I'll give you a chance to code it, and then we can code it all together. Okay, so how is this gonna work? Uh, this is we're getting removed, and we have wait, hold on, sorry, that was insert. This is remove. Okay, so this is we're getting removed, and we have no children. Easy, right? This is we're getting removed, and we have one child. This is we're getting removed, and we have one child, and. This one was the left case. This one was the right case. Okay. 
Now we're going to do getting removed and we have two children. Okay, so I'm getting removed and I have two children. Okay, and that's two children. My left is not null and my right is not null. So what do I do? Well, the first thing I do is I get the left mo or the rightmost of my left subtree. We'll just do it of the left subtree because that was the example I did. But if you get the leftmost of the right subtree, that's fine too. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to get the rightmost of the left subtree. Okay. Um, and then uh, and I'll set my data equal to the rightmost of the left subtree. Because remember, that's going to uh, return t, right? And so it's going to return the student. And so I'm just going to set my student data to reference that. Um, where am I? Sorry, guys. Uh, oh, my god. OK, here we go. We're good. We're good. Uh, <laughs> all right. So um, then I'm going to remove uh, my. Oh, is it taking a node? Does remove take in a node? No, no, take it takes in data to remove. Remove my data from the left subtree. So call remove with my data from the left subtree. You know, you're calling a hit out on yourself. I mean, it's amazing. That is amazing. And then there's one more thing we have to do. We have to remember what you return, right? What you got to return here, okay? Because your parent is still pointing to you even though you've changed, right? I mean, how many of us can relate to that? Like, our parents are still our parents, but we've gone through a lot of changes. I think we can all, uh, all feel like that sometimes, especially in college. I'll see you in the next video where we will code this up. And I know I've said that the last three videos, but I really, really mean it this time.